Come on, Dot. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got everything covered in deer netting. I do not like working with this stuff. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's keeping whatever it was that was eating my garden out. And that is a good thing. Now these tomatoes are still looking kind of yellow, probably overwatered, and some of their leaves are burned. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to prune those off. So if you know, would you tell me? If I'm supposed to prune off like like that, I'll zoom in on it, like the, that. Should I prune that off of that plant? My grandpa hooked me up with, I think 11 tomato plants. I got them in the ground. His varieties were different than anything I've actually ever heard of before. So, celebrity, garden monster. There's actually a cherry tomato. We got two more here, box car willy, and I don't remember what this little guy on the end is. There's my butternut squash. I think, I think she's a survivor, but I don't know. The rest are gone from that critter that got in. I've got at least one zinnia, maybe two. I think I've got a couple others coming up. We harvested a bunch of lettuce and arugula. I say a bunch, but it doesn't look like a bunch. Look at that kale. Here, I'm gonna lift this up. The um, deer netting gets caught on the bark, which is great, actually. Look at that kale. This is red Russian kale. And the way the leaves develop is just so, so cool. Anyway, I'm gonna plant some more lettuce in these little empty rows. Um, because it's pretty sad. <laughs> have those empty. What I've been doing with this deer netting is just kind of tucking it behind um, the stakes and then just sort of shoving it <laughs> and it seems to stay. We lost a uh, we lost a lot of peppers but these few in the front seem to be doing okay. Here I'll lift this up again so we can not shoot through the not shoot through the deer netting. I've got weeds in here, but um, got a lot of cucumber in the back, a couple peppers. The tomato plant on the right is from my grandpa. The one on the left is from us that we started from seed. And then in the back there, these nasturtiums. I took, oops, got a spider web on me. I had three nasturtium here and I just took one and moved it to a different part of the garden. There was one like right here in the middle. And I'm probably gonna move another one of them because apparently they get pretty big. These are the dwarf jewel nasturtium. Um, but I actually saw in a picture that, although it's called a dwarf jewel, they get pretty large, so. Can you hear the cattle? Holy moly. They're loud today. Beans are looking pretty good. And there's a bunch of weeds. Holy cow, I gotta come out here. And then, um, marigolds are starting to bloom, so that's fun. And our strawberries. Oreo kitty, what are you doing? Hey. <laughs> so then over here, the deer netting job that I've done is really interesting. <laughs> but it seems to be working. We did it last night, actually. Just keeping it in place with these logs that Oreo loves to sharpen his claws on. But the most exciting thing is that I, ooh, look at that mushroom that popped up last night. No, oh, that's crazy. We have pumpkins and I don't want this deer netting touching the pumpkins. So I need to figure out how to like, pop it up a little higher. I'm gonna work on that today. It protected them last night, so that's good. But I definitely don't want the deer netting touching the pumpkins. We've seriously just gotten creative. Like, this deer netting and things to prop it down. Hey, Oreo. <laughs> um, to protect 
everything. So these pumpkins, this is gonna be a state fair winner. Apparently gets really big. And I just have the deer netting spread for now and I'm gonna kind of <laughs> move it and adjust it. Oreo, you're a crack up. What are you doing, bud? He just flopped over. Oreo's just a barn cat that came with the property. <laughs> Apparently he stays for whoever rents this place. He loves our family. <laughs> so pumpkins and tomatoes are the main reason I wanted to start this garden. I'm so excited about it. Um, I really want to have like a really cool pumpkin patch so that the kids in my family, like my niece and nephews and our friends' kids can come get their jack-o'-lanterns or get cute pumpkins to decorate with. And I think if all goes well, we'll have a lot of pumpkins, but who knows what's gonna happen. It's possible that nothing comes up. So we could end up with other problems. It's been trial and error this whole time. Oh. So I didn't do any pruning to this in the fall. Am I supposed to? Guys, I'm telling you what, I am learning. I don't know a darn thing. They're so pretty. This is what I wanted to show you, the peonies. So the ants are crazy for them and I Googled it and it sounded like, just leave the ants. They're not doing any damage. They're just eating the sugar. And if anything, they'll help them bloom. But everyone in the area that I have seen that has peonies have already had their peonies bloom. And this peony is not blooming. And I feel like the blossom is actually, is it in focus? Um, I feel like the blossom is actually dying. Like I can kind of see that it's just not doing well. I think that this spot just doesn't get enough sunshine. This is the new member of the family. A Dutch bunny. And our friend Annie discovered that she's pretty allergic to her. They've had her for about a year. Welcome to our messy garage area. But um, they had her for a year and she, Annie found out she's allergic and actually their family's moving into a school bus. They should have a YouTube channel. I'll talk to her about that. Um, but called us on Monday and asked, or I guess texted us on Monday and asked if we would take the pet bunny, Sophie. So this is Sophie. Are you scared? She's super snuggly and sweet when she wants to be. <laughs> and she came with this cool entertainment center turn touch that we think we're probably gonna have to, you know, go through and make sure it's mouse proof because we do tend to get mice in this room during the winter. We thought it would be fun to take her outside to like the grass yesterday and she got startled. Actually, everything was going really well, but then she got startled and ran under the van and was actually under the van for five hours. Five. Five hours. It was terrible. Hey, ducks. Good morning. This lighting is really bad. Good morning. 